all. Today I've got five masks to review for you. Now these are all box sets that come with a mask and a graphic novel. So I won't be touching on so much the graphic novel, but just the masks in the box sets. I will show which graphic novels come with each box set though. So without further ado, let's begin. Now for the first box set that DC Comics released, we have the V for Vendetta box set. See, there are some pictures of V and the logo on the side. Pictures of V, the mask. There we have the back. And on the top, we just have the V for Vendetta logo. So, let's get this open. So the graphic novel that comes with it is the V for Vendetta book. Now this is a really awesome graphic novel. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. No spoilers here. Um, different from the movie. Very similar, but different. All the same. Now for the mask. We have your anonymous mask. The V for Vendetta. Now the color on it is really nice. I've seen a lot of these just kind of basic ones that you can buy that are just very, uh, more white. This is kind of a beige to it. All the paint on it is very nice. It's got just your basic string on the back. And it even has a little foam piece right here just to kind of make it sit away from your head a little better. Let's try it out. Very stylish. <laughs> now, with the foam piece, it does kind of push the mouth up against your uh, up against your chin and your mouth, which is good, but it just kind of limits the uh, the talking you can do with it. But if anything, if we do take it off, I'm sure it would fit nice and snug just as well. <laughs> yeah. So. That is our first box set. For our second review of the day, we have the Batman Court of Owls mask. Now this is the second box set that DC released. So on the front, we've got a nice display of the Court of Owls mask. On the side, we have Talon and the court with uh, a passage. Um, throughout the book, basically just like a nursery rhyme that kind of describes the Court of Owls. <laughs> and here we have the back. On the top, we just have the logo of the Court of Owls and just Batman, the Court of Owls, spoken mask. So let's open it up. So, the graphic novel that comes with this is Volume 1 of Batman, the Court of Owls. This is Zack Snyder run. Now, if you haven't read this graphic novel, highly recommend it. No spoilers beyond that. But the actual mask itself, very cool. <laughs> It is a little flimsier than the V for Vendetta one. Um, they do have the little inserts. Instead of foam, it seems it's more of a... I think it says foam, yeah. <laughs> but just a harder foam to kind of uh, match around. Instead of having it right in the center point where the V for Vendetta mask has, it has it more around the eyes. Now the string itself, isn't actually attached to the mask. It's um, kind of a loop through a hole on the side instead of actually sewn onto the mask itself. But all right, let's try it on. Now this mask fits very nice. Where they have the, uh, the foam inserts on the eye, it just makes it very Mm, not hollowed, but comfortable. As for detail on the mask, there's not too, too much. It's kind of a bridge around the eye, and then just a tiny, tiny little white beak indent on um, the mask itself. But overall, really cool mask, really cool box set. Better graphic novel than the mask, I find. Alright, for the middle point of the review, we have the Batman, Death in the Family mask box set. Now, 
this is probably the coolest map that they have come out with. It has the most effort, the most detail put into it. it has fake hair. It's actually made out of a more rubbery uh, material. It's just, it's very nice. So the front, we have uh, Joker's hands kind of grabbing his face. If you don't know anything about the story, I won't spoil anything for you. Um, for the side, we have a picture of Joker. Other side, same thing. Back, we have a nice display of the mask and the comic itself with a little lead up. And on the top, we have a picture of Joker holding the mask. And uh, yeah, <laughs> shall we begin? So, the graphic novel that comes with this one is The Death in the Family, Volume 3. Now, this is a very sick and twisted comic involving Joker. And that's about as far as I'm going to go with it. No spoilers. <laughs> as for the mask itself, extremely cool. It's got this green kind of blondish hair with it. The inside kind of all held together. I don't really have a pro like find any problem with the hair falling out of this mask. I know sometimes when you buy um, fake wigs and whatnot they kind of tend to fall apart but I haven't had that problem with this mask yet. Every once in a while I'll find like a gr little green scraggle like that right there but I mean Overall, it stays together really well. And the actual strap for this, so there's the hair piece that you actually put around your head, and then there's a strap that you can put on to just kind of hold the back of it together. We'll get along. <laughs> so this mask is really cool. Fits really nice. Eyes work really nice. The hair doesn't feel awkward at all. It just kind of feels very well done. This mask has tons of detail and is definitely the coolest one that DC has released so far. My only gripe with it is there is a label right here. And just the way that it's sized, it kind of goes over the eye socket a fair bit. So if you want to cut it off, you can, but I like to keep my mask kind of intact. So I haven't done it myself, but overall, not that big of a grape. You can just kind of fold it to the side and it works perfect. For a fourth review, we have the Deathstroke box set mask. Now this is a really cool mask. As for the packaging is a little bland compared to the other two. The Court of Owls one kind of had uh, the skyline of Gotham. The Joker one had his hands. This one's just kind of the color scheme of Deathstroke. Um, as for the side though, the side we have a nice detailed picture of Deathstroke that's actually on the graphic novel that comes with it. We have. Another one of that size. Front, next letter, and the back. As for the top, we have a little Deathstroke logo, and it says Deathstroke Volume 1 Gods of War. Let's open it up. Now, the graphic novel that comes with this one is the Deathstroke Volume 1 that was just made by Tony S. Daniel, Sandu Flore, and Tommy Moreau. Now, I haven't actually read this Deathstroke um, graphic novel, so I can't really give any spoilers on it. <laughs> As for the mask itself, very cool mask. Now, it's definitely more sturdy 
than the Court of Owls mask. And it it kind of has the same feel of the uh, of the uh, View for Vendetta mask. But the straps, they went back to what they did with the Joker mask. Instead of just having it as one just piece, now it connects. Very cool mask. Now, my problem with this mask, whereas the last couple masks had a little foam insert to kind of keep it from pushing against your nose, this mask does not have that. So the second you put this one on, it just crunches your nose. Like my nose is getting crunched up right now. <laughs> but I feel with a little piece right here, that problem could be fixed. Overall, the mask has really nice detail. This side's very cool. There's holes in here so you can see out of your right eye. But from a distance, it's can't really notice it. It's a very cool mask. And for our last review of the day, we have the Harley Quinn box set. So it kind of has the same design as the Deathstroke mask with just the split down the middle color scheme. On the side, we have a picture of Harley Quinn playing her giant hammer as a guitar. Same on the other side. And on the back, we have a nice display of the mask and the graphic novel. On the top, we just have the Harley Quinn Volume 1, Hot in the City, and a bunch of stars. So, let's open it up. So the graphic novel you get in this one, you get Harley Quinn, Volume 1, Hot in the City. Now this is a really cool graphic novel. I am actually still currently reading it right now. It's very funny. That is the only spoil I'm giving. Very funny. So recommended. For the mask itself, we have Harley Quinn. And this mask, due to how the hair was kind of sculpted on it. It actually makes it very sturdy. They went back to adding the foam insert on the inside, just to kind of keep it away from your face and not crunch your nose. Um, the actual mask itself is kind of creepy. It's very mannequin-like. And the strap on the back went back to that. Let's try it on. <laughs> so the mask fits fairly nice. The eyes, the eye holes are actually rather small, but the way that they are positioned is perfect. You can see everything perfectly. <laughs> and where the foam insert is, it keeps your nose a nice distance away from the actual mask. Your mouth, you're able to talk very well in it. There's no muffling, it's, it's very nice. That's the Harley Quinn mask. All right, and that's my quick review on five DC released comic mask box sets that they have. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.